Hello, welcome back. It's been a long time since we've last played Project Zomboid. A couple of years at least, I think. I have uh, no mods installed, just like last time. But maybe we can get some mods if we need them. Um, I need to remember how we set up the game last time so that we can try to um, have uh, zombies not respawn, right? I really like the idea of, uh, of like clearing. I know it's impossible or close to impossible, but uh, I, I really like the idea of being able to clear out parts of the, the map, if not the whole map, um, and, to, and to see how long we can survive for. Solo? Apocalypse Survivor Builder Custom Sandbox? I think it's Custom Sandbox, right? And then we can go in and do all of the, uh, the options. Because the other ones are more um, focused. They give you, like, skills and stuff, right? God, it's been so long. I can't even remember how to play. Like, I remember, like, how to, how to play, but I don't even remember the, the keys or anything. So it'll be... Uh, it'll be... It, it'll be a bit rippy. Uh, the first couple of runs for sure, but uh, but let's see uh, if we can do it, okay? So, we'll go Custom Sandbox. Rosewood is where we used to really like uh, hanging out, right? They they all connect anyway. West Point. Rosewood is the uh, is the area with, like, the, the scrapyard and all the little houses and the, uh, and the trailers and stuff, right? Never going to believe that Build 42 isn't out yet? No, I know. There's been uh, there's been some uh, some updates since I last played, though. Quite a few, right? They've changed some stuff around. Okay, we'll go Rosewood. A short stay in Rosewood is pleasant, but a long stay? Well, the inmates of the inf the the famous Knox Penitentiary will tell you that's not so fun. It's ideally situated ge geographically for ease of access. Rosewood is a community hub for administration and community services, as well as leading incarceration center. There's a courthouse as well, apparently. Okay, zombie count, normal. Zombie distribution, urban focused. Time, day length is one hour. What do we need to set for all this stuff? I can't remember. Water shutoff can be anywhere between zero and 30 days. Same with electricity shutoff. House alarms frequency sometimes. Locked houses frequency very often. That's pretty realistic, actually. Food spoilage, refrigerator... Uh, refrigeration effectiveness, fire spread, gener generator working in exterior. This is all fine, right? I think. Yeah, I, I want to turn off respawns. Yeah, where do you uh, where do you turn those off? Respawns, zombie lore. Proper zombies, fast shamblers, normal, normal blood plus saliva transmission. Vehicles fine. In game map. Allow minimap, allow world map, all known on start, no. Character, XP multiplier and stuff. I think this is all fine. Loot rarity, meta. Randomized house chance. Randomized vehicle stories chance. Time before corpse removal. Decaying corpse health impact, blood level, corpse maggot spawn. Helicopter, once. Are we just doing one helicopter? Sleeping event, never. Meta event, sometimes. Where is the, uh, the... Oh, advanced zombie options, maybe. Population, start, peak, peak, respawn hours. The number of hours that must pass before zombies may respawn in a cell. If zero, spawning is disabled. That's the one, baby. Okay, we'll set this to zero. So that we actually have a chance to potentially clear things out. There's so many zombies anyway, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, number of hours that a chunk must be unseen before zombies may respawn in it. Uh, the minimum is zero. The fraction of a cell's desired population that may respawn every respawn hours. We'll put that to zero as well. Redistribute hours. The number of hours that must pass before zombies migrate to empty parts of the same cell. If zero, migration is disabled. We want to leave migration on, right? It's more realistic that they would migrate migration is cool it keeps you on your toes <clears throat> bite only for transmission is most popular 
Yeah, because saliva is a bit uh, is a bit wild, right? Um, where is that? Zombie lore? Character? Enable poisoning. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I saw it before. I just don't know where it is. Where it is now? Oh, maybe it's in world actually. Oh no, this is just an uh, actual world. Population, time, maybe it is here. I can't find it. Maybe it's character. No, it isn't. It's uh, advanced zombie options. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> I don't know where it is. Zombie lore? Oh yeah, it is. Transmission. Transmission. Uh, blood and saliva. Saliva only. Everyone's infected and none. Wait. How do you change it to uh, to bite? Is that just saliva? Transmission kissing with tongue. So saliva only for transmission. Controls how zombie virus spreads. So that means they have to bite you. So any scratches or whatever were, were safe, right? It's just a uh, it's just an actual bite. Okay, toughness, strength, speed, infection, mortality, reanimate time. What's reanimate time? Controls how quickly corpses rise as zombies. Oh, so this is for it's this is the 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 lore is uh, everybody is infected. So if you die naturally, you'll reanimate as a as a zombie. So any any uh, non zombies, right? Zombie house alarm triggering allows zombies to trigger house alarms when breaking through windows and doors. Do you think that that would be good to have on? It's a little bit more realistic, right? If they did break into a house, the thing would go off. Multi-hit is the one where you um, where you can uh, you can hit loads of them like with one melee attack, right? Okay, so we want zombie house alarm triggering. I don't know where multi-hit uh, exists. Sorry, there's it's going to take a little while to get around all this stuff. Multi-hit weapon, multi-hit. When enabled, certain melee weapons will be able to strike multiple zombies in one hit. Okay, let's put that on. If we're if we're hitting people with a stop sign, realistically, you would hit a couple of people with it, right? Or like a gigantic uh, sledgehammer, you might hit some a couple more people. Mod setup is part of the fun. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think we're good. How? What do we want our day length to be? An hour or two? Maybe an hour, right? I think an hour is long enough. Yeah, I think an hour is fine. Start day is 9, start hours 9 a.m., and start month is July. Okay, save presets. So if we save this as um, survival challenge rules for now. Okay, I think that's everything, right? Was there anything else that we needed? I mean, we don't have mods or anything, but as we're playing and uh, we want to, we can add some. I know there's like some great weapon and armor mods that aren't like game breaking that, you know, give you a bit more variety and make it more fun. We can get those. There's a couple of like, there's, there's well, there's tons of mods, but there's like vehicle mods that you can get. There's all sorts of stuff we can get, right? Is there, is, are VHS tapes in the base game or is that a mod thing? I like the idea that you can find VHS tapes and, uh, and learn by watching them. Oh, it's base. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Um, there's a whole bunch of trait stuff as well, right? People, they're, like, people that play this game a lot know, like, which ones you can take and they're, like, you know, these are the free ones and, and stuff. I don't know. I think, um, because it's been such a long time since we played, let's just go with, like, um, Carpenter. We get carpentry and short blunt, which uh, helps us uh, build stuff. And short blunt's really good uh, to start with, right? Because those are mostly the kind of uh, weapons that we're going to get. You like short blunts too? 
Unemployed for proper realistic playthrough? What about construction worker? You get a bit of carpentry, but more short blunt. Or... First aid, short blade, doctor, Eddie, Monroe, ah, uh, burglar is good. Oh, I guess because you can be um, stealthy and stuff, right? There's no streamer in there, no, no. Okay, we're gonna do doctor. We'll do doctor Eddie Monroe, right? So we have uh, two points to uh, to spend, and but we can add more by adding uh, the uh, these ones as well, right? Very underweight, unfit, obese, thin skinned, increased chance of scratches, lacerations, or bites, breaking the skin, illiterate, cannot read books, but we could watch tapes, underweight, low strength and low endurance, and prone to injury, slow learner, slow healer. Restless sleeper, overweight. Reduced running speed, low endurance, and prone to injury. Minus one fitness with overweight. This can be overcome though, right? I mean, very quickly because we'll probably be starving like uh, straight away. Smoker? Come on. Okay. Now we got six points to spend. So we're going to definitely take... Uh, what's a good one? There's some really good ones, right? Minus six. Organized, low thirst, keen hearing, herbalist, former scout, fit, plus two fitness is pretty good, I guess. A fit smoker. Eagle eyed is is normally pretty good. Brawler, long blunt, plus one axe. We could have runner for sprinting, could be really good. Light eater, inconspicuous, less likely to be spotted. Brave baseball player, plus one long blunt. Mm. Fast reader. Okay, fast reader's got to be a good one, right? We're taking that for sure. Cat's eyes for better vision at night. And we also want less chance to have food illness with iron gut. Not affected by harsh weather conditions might be a good one too. But we will probably try to find a house to, to hide in, right? Brawler, cook, eagle-eyed, fast healer. <clears throat> Hiker. God, there's so many things, isn't there? Athletic, thick-skinned, hunter, handy, carpentry, maintenance, adrenaline junkie, organized. I think we want uh, probably, like I was saying, iron gut seems like a good one, right? So we just need to get a minus one. Sunday driver, drives very slow. Sure. We don't mind that, right? We're not going to be driving for a long time anyway, right? It's a Sips playthrough without the angler perk. You want the angler perk? For some fishing? I think in Rosewood there is a place where we could do some... Um... Iron Gut only works with spoiled and raw food. So we don't even need it. Okay, fine. Less prone to becoming panicked. Might be a good one. Maybe. I don't know. You do not want Sunday Driver. That perk just decimates using a car. Right, okay. Fine. I got two more points to spend then. And unless we want to go crazy and just add a whole bunch more stuff. But I, I don't know. First aid foraging. Can find medicinal herbs and craft medicines and pur, 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 poultices. Pur, poultices? Hunter? Aiming short blades, sneaking, and trapping? For minus eight, though. Seems crazy. Okay. Let's just get uh, Outdoorsman, then. Or let's get... Uh... Oh, Speed Demon drives very fast. Okay, let's just get Outdoorsman, right? An Outdoorsman. And then we've got the Doctor uh, stuff as well, but we're a smoker. And now we're, we're good. Dexterous is good. Transfers inventory items quickly. Okay, fine. Let's go for that, then. Next. Forename... Uh, Eddie, surname, Monroe, male, skin color, chest hair, abundant, hairstyle, flat top, grungy, okay, mustache, it's gotta be chops with a bit of stubble 
Okay. Actually, let's let's leave this stubble. Um, hat, none. Glasses, none. Vest, none. Formal shirt, none. None. Pants, none. Long socks, none. Sneakers, none. Okay, we're gonna wake up naked. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wake up naked and we're gonna try to figure it out from there. This man's not ready. He, we're ready. We're not gonna get. We're not gonna die from a cut to the foot. Okay, we're gonna try not to at least walk. Run. Okay, let's not go grungy. Let's go with uh, long braids. No, let's go for um, a curly mullet. No, let's not get a curly. Let's get a Picard. Yeah, that's my Dr. Eddie Monroe. We're go for the Picard with the chops. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I've saved Dr. Eddie Monroe as a character. Can you find him some flip-flops? Probably. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to play. I hope I can remember how to play. How do you do uh, attacks and stuff? What are the keys? Just give me a quick rundown of the keys. So that I can remember. Right click, left click, and space. What does uh, what does right click do? Attack. Oh, here we go. Survival guide. The basics. Okay, I don't really need this, I don't think. Info, skills, health, protection. So we can leave that up. Aha. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff. There's a roasting pan. A griddle, a baking pan, pancake mix, some crackers, chocolate, cereal. Let's grab some marmalade too. We don't need the pancake mix right now. Oh, look at all these canned goods. Okay, we'll definitely grab some of these canned goods. We're going to need them, right? I think the, uh, is there a way to um, make this a bit smaller? It's too big, right? What is it? UI? Display? UI rendering, inventory container button size. Where do you do it? The milk is first to go. Don't worry, I'm going to chug it in a, in a second. Accessibility. No, it's not in here. I don't think anyway. It's got to be display, right? Zoom levels, enable zoom. Pan camera while aiming. Font size three times. It's in audio. Okay. I'll check there after. Oh, is it font size? So what do we want the font size to be? Not three times. Just default. No, it's still uh, huge. Camera textures UI, UI off-screen rendering show mod show survival, inventory container button small size. So I don't know. Change aim outline to all. Where's that? Aim outline. Dynamic puddles. There's too many options. Change the font size to one times. No, it's still fucking huge. Does anybody actually know? Because I can guess all day as well. I can just I can just flick 
random stuff and guess. But if somebody actually knows, then we can move on, you know? Nobody knows. It is inventory font small. Where is that? Inventory font small. Oh, inventory font small. Context menu font small. Tooltip small. Okay, it's still pretty big. But I guess we can live with it. I got to check my resolution. What's my resolution set to? 1920 by 1080. That's fine. Windowed. That's fine. Yeah, the game resolution is set right. Yeah. I have tried switching my ISP. Yeah, I tried that. You bought this game because of me and you only played it once? What's the zoom level setting doing? I don't know, man. I have no idea. This is why I'm asking you guys. You guys pro probably played this more than me. Okay, well, we're just going to have to go with this for now. Unless somebody has uh, a solution. But empty mug, we don't need. We can run. Walk to and sit on ground. What was that aim outline thing? Crossword magazine, empty notebook, engineering, Lane's Auto, and the Metalwork Magazine Volume 3. Yeah, I've tried switching it on and off again. I definitely have. It didn't work. No, no worky. Let me put this here for a second. Is it safe to go upstairs? It's probably safe in this house, right? Oh god, I'm scared. Alright, let's see if there's uh there's a newspaper and a crossword magazine. We can try to disassemble the bed, but we, sh we shouldn't really. Electric wire, there's a baseball cap. There's a bucket hat as well. Electric wire and a CD. Collected Yeats audiobook. Yeats. <laughs> I love Yeats. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, we can uh, we can wear this jacket as well. You guys, any Yeats fans in here? There's a formal shirt that we can wear. There's some pants. There's a satchel. There's a, a black electric bass guitar. There's a belt as well. Okay, good. Okay, let's use this. And then these guys, will will take these, right? Just in case we need to... Okay, we just need some shoes. And we're good. And then we can hit people with the bass guitar. Alarm clock. Sure. We can disassemble some of this stuff, right? Eventually. Crossword magazine, a pen, a sheet of paper, CD, Moments in American History, The Moon Landing. That might be a nice one to listen to later. Remove curtains. Okay. I can't remember how to uh, attack stuff. Is the only thing. Uh, are we ready to go outside here? There's a little garage there too, but oh god, it's very, very foggy out. Maybe we pick a better day to uh, make our move. Do you think it's safe to hide up here and just read some books? There's a little bed here. Uh, open window, sit on ground, add a sheet. Close the curtain. Sit on ground. Can you not sit in uh, in the chairs? 
Rest. Oh no, he's just standing up and resting. So you have to sit on the ground. Click and drag bottom right corner to resize. Click and drag bottom right corner to resize. What? the uh, These little things. Okay. We want to put some stuff in the satchel, right? Oh yeah, we're going to drink this milk too. We can we can learn to make a noisemaker with engineering. All right, let's read some books while we have a chance, right? I hear someone. Okay. So this one is already red. Let's read this engineering book as well. Oh, click and drag this to resize it. I see what you mean. I think it's fine the way it is now though. Okay can drop this one too. There's some marmalade here. There's uh, Metalwork Magazine Volume 3. Do you have to read them in order or can you just read them all? Whenever you get them. Hey, Lama Todd, what's up? Thanks so much for the raid. No order needed. Okay. So just if, if you got them, read them. Okay, this stuff is all on us right now. Let's put the marmalade in the satchel. We could just read this newspaper, I guess. Move my character panel? I can see, oh, you mean this, uh, this side here, skills, info. Put it here so I can see what I've got. Fairly heavy load. I'm carrying a bit too much. It's probably all these canned goods, right? I can put those into the satchel. I got some canned spaghetti as well. We'll try to find somewhere where, where we can store a lot of this stuff, right? It'd be good. Crackers, chocolate. Cereal can go in the satchel, too. Dog food, just in case. You never know when you might need some. Crossword magazine. What does this actually do? Boredom reduction and stress reduction? Once you've done it, though, it doesn't work anymore, right? Do I enjoy canned spaghetti on toast? Absolutely, I do. Oh, I think you can just keep doing this one, right? For the boredom reduction and stress reduction? It doesn't seem to say that it's already been read. Or is the, did I pick up two of them? Okay, I'm going to eat these fresh strawberries as well before they go bad. Perfect. All right. We're satiated. 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 Okay, I'm going to listen to this bad boy later. If we get bored later, we can do that too. And this alarm clock. I don't need it right now. I'm wearing a belt already. So let's drop this. Suit pants, just in case. And shirt, just in case. Okay, I think we're ready to... I think we're ready to move out. I just don't know how to attack stuff, but... 
It looks like the fog is cleared. Oh, I see a zombie out there. All right. I see a couple. How do they know? How did they know I was here? How do I attack? Oh, you gotta hold control. Okay, we don't wanna run around too much. There's a church here. It's the urban areas that are the problem, right? And we're right in the middle of an urban area. So we want to try to get out of here. Get out into the wilderness a little bit. Get away from some of the mobs. I need to find some shoes as well. bit of distance between us and the zombies. There's a big yard here. They got a playground in there and everything. Nice. I can't uh, I can't hit anything with this bass guitar. It's so slow. I need something smaller, I think. Okay, we're a bit moist. We're bleeding probably on our feet because we don't have shoes on. We're running around uh, in the wilderness here. I don't have sheets either, so we'll have to get some. Do you think I can... Uh... Oh my god, there's so many bad guys. My poor feet. Maybe they're following the... Uh, maybe they got the blood scent from my my poor feet. It's pretty safe to just go out into the woods, isn't it? There's, there's far less bad guys out here. I'm lying. It's not safe to go in the woods at all. I've died in the woods so many times. Okay, getting a bit thirsty. I do have a can of beer on me, though. If we can find somewhere to rest, I can drink that. I'm close to a prison. That might help, actually. guys we're just, I think we're just gonna have to spend most of today running around trying to get rid of these bad guys and find a safe place to hunker down how do you uh, get in cars again I can't even remember is there anybody in here it's locked It's Spiffo's. It's the Spiffo's restaurant. The drive through Yeah, I'm leaving a lot of bloody footprints. There's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. For the time being, I need to bandage up. Oh, shit. Oh, that might work in our to our advantage, actually, that alarm. They'll go towards the noise, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> wee 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 wee. They'll go towards the noise unless something else distracts them. Oh yeah, I forgot I can crouch. 
Okay, I'm crossing the road here. This might get us out of some of the more populated areas, I'm hoping. If we have a lot of zombies following us, we get sneak skill, right? If, as long as I'm sneaking. Maybe this is uh, harder on my bones, though. Whoa. I feel like this is going to be much harder on my bones. Look, I've actually got a whole screen with no zombies in front of me for once. I can't believe it. I'm too scared to go this way because what if we attract more? But I guess we just, we got to do it, right? Try to lose them in the woods here. Try to sneak a little. just know. They always know. Okay. Let's see if we can find like a shack or something up here. What is that noise? I thought that sounded like gunfire in the distance, but then it just sounded all sloppy and zombie-like. Sounded like like some sloppy eating and slurping. Okay. There's a dog. What is this bit here? Oh. Okay, we might get a second. It's kind of, it's a bit dicey. We need like some sort of clearing so I have some advance warning that something's sneaking up on us. But it looks like we might be able to just have a little rest. Hopefully. And bandage up our feet. And have a beer. Okay, let's see if this is possible. Okay, don't have a can opener. I'm gonna eat this chocolate. I'm gonna eat these crackers as well. There's some marmalade. Okay, let's rip all this up. Do I have enough for a left foot and a right foot bandage? Yes. Okay, how do I bring up my uh, character sheet chat? Does anybody remember? I'm, a, I'm walking a little bit slower now, but it looks like we could just rest for a little bit. H. Okay, overall body, moderate damage. So we're, we've lost a little bit of health. Okay, we know that the road is roughly down here somewhere, if it goes all this way. Yes. Okay, and it looks like we're coming up on something here, too. Hopefully... A quiet neighborhood with a house where we can just sneak into a house and just have a little rest and maybe find a can opener for some food we might have to take out a couple of foes here what is this place it's just a little house Oh, this could be good for us, actually. Anything in here? C 
Come on, man. Believe this? Look at all the food in here. Plastic cutting board and a dish towel. I'm gonna dry myself with this dish towel. Can you turn off the radio? We don't want it to make any noise. Okay, we're ridiculously tired, apparently. Oh, Foraging Volume 1? Take this book as well. There's a magazine here as well. Why does the microwave matter? I think you can use it if you've got power. Do I have... Oh, I can put stuff into my belt. That's right. Okay. Um, let's just sit on the ground. Ooh, we can rest a little. So tired, so desperately, inhumanely tired and thirsty. We're dehydrated as well. Okay, we drank a little bit of water. Um, you want to eat a fresh lemon? There's some processed cheese here that we can eat. Nice. We're anxious. We're tired. We've had high exertion and uh, some discomfort as well. What time is it right now? We don't have a watch, so we're not sure what time it is even, right? See if there's any medical supplies in here. I guess we can just wash ourselves as well. We need to find some shoes. Just washing myself in the sink here. And wash my damn feet? Don't worry, I am doing it. Hey Ian McKenna, thanks so much for the two bucks, I appreciate it. I see you, Ian McKenna. Okay, do we want to drink out of the toilet? No. Investigate this area? Foraging. Firewood and stones? Enable search mode. Is this the new foraging system? I think it's changed a little bit since uh, I last saw it, right? Sleep on the ground? Okay, I can't barricade any of these windows, and I don't think I have anything to put sheets on them either, right? I think we just have to sleep. It's not letting me sleep, I think because there's bad guys around, right? I got some dirty bandages. There's no uh, clothing in here, from what I can tell, in this whole house. Okay, I'm gonna take this empty, this white mug full of water with me on my adventures. There's some boxes outside. Um, I can put map symbols, look, to say that I've cleared stuff. Oh, I need a pen or a pencil. 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I know where there is one. Turns out. So, we can say that this... Can you uh, move marking, remove marking, or, and add a note? So we can say this is clear. <laughs> that is neat. Oh, you need an eraser to... No, you don't, do you? Okay, we can rest at least for a bit, right? Try to get rid of some of this tiredness. There's no TV in here either. We're missing out. We could have been learning whilst resting. But you got to be careful with the volume, I guess, right? Stop crouching. Oh, is it bad? Oh, is it because I was trying to sleep while I was crouching? It's not letting me sleep. Now it is. Okay, good. We've had a full sleep. Hey, Big Richie, thanks for the five. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Okay, are we good to... Uh, we can always come back to this house to have some of this food if we need to, right? Bring a little bit with us, but not much. Maybe we drop off the rest of the canned food here too and just come back here when we need to. Empty out the satchel. Uh oh I'm going to eat it. I'm eating the marmalade. You can carry this in both hands, the, the uh, guitar. It didn't seem to do it. Equip primary. Oh, maybe it has done. Will it pull? Oh, no, it won't pull it out. So what do I do? Oh, I got to hit one. Ah, okay. Perfect. All right. I need to uh, clean my bandages. We can try to fortify this little place a little bit. We'll have a look around here a little. I think there's some more houses and stuff up here normally, right? This is the rosewood I remember. I've been up here a couple of times, I believe. There's another house. This one might actually have some good stuff in it. Look, it's huge. It's just peek through the window. I hear somebody. Whoops. Try the door. It's open. Oh. Okay, my first confirmed kill. There's a word search magazine and cooking volume one. Grab that. TV in here too. It's kind of nice. Oh yeah, I need some shoes too. You're right. Okay, we'll grab these matches. Cleaning liquid and bleach. Oh, can we put bleach on our um, bandages? Oh. We're smokers, right? We gotta do some smoking. Oh, 
Lighter could be good, right? Okay, let's leave the fresh food in the fridge for now. Whoa! Okay, some of this stuff we can rip up, right? There's a gun here. We can rip up old t-shirts and stuff, right? Oh, there's some baggy jeans here, too. And a fanny pack. Oh. I've equipped it. There's a comb and a tissue. Ooh. Leather jacket's got to be good, right? Still no shoes, though. They got a bath towel, which we can uh, dry ourselves with. Ooh. Ooh. Foundation makeup. Some cologne. Oh, here we go. Some adhesive bandages. What is this? Extremely heavy load? Okay. Let's sit on the ground and sort ourselves out here. Bleach? Drink it? I don't think we need it, actually. Let's just drop that. Put this in the satchel. Um, adhesive bandage. Can I put this on myself? Okay, I'm going to take this off my left foot. Oh. It looks like my feet have healed. Okay, good. Bandages sorted. Nice. Okay, good. So, bandage will keep. Cleaning liquid we can drop. Cooking volume one. Let's read it. Learn how to do some more cooking. Okay, cooking volume one is going to take forever to read. So let's not read it here. And then these ones here we can... Um, denim jeans. I should wear these denim jeans, right? They'll probably be better than... Uh, drop these dirty rags. Drop this dish towel. Drop this empty stuff. This white mug didn't even hold the water. I got two jackets in here. Okay, I'm going to rip these up so that if I need to, I can make some more bandages, right? I got a lighter. I got a revolver. Okay, put all this. I got some matches too. Painkillers, very good. Into the satchel you go. Okay, let's rip up these pants. And we got a saw as well. Okay, let's put that. We're going to need that, right? And some thread. Thread's pretty good if we want to do tailoring and, and stuff later. We can drop that. Tweezers so that we can get teeth uh, out of us when we got teeth in us. Okay, good. I just need some shoes. If I can find some shoes, we're rocking. Okay, let's drink from the sink. There's a barbecue out here. Check out this backyard, it's amazing. How do you fortify a, a backyard? We could do some farming back here, it'd be good. Oh, shoes on the zombie. Of course, you can loot zombies. I forgot. Chat, thank you so much. Oh, my God. I never would have. 
How do you loot the, um, oh, loot all. Jeans, newspaper, sneakers, and socks. Perfect. We're rocking now. We're unstoppable, pretty much. Let's just check the map. Okay. Clear. All right, I think we want to go back this way and loosely follow this road, probably, right? I'm not wearing my fanny pack. I'm holding it. Where is it? Where is my fanny pack? Fanny pack front. Where on the front? There. Now I got my fanny pack. I can put um I can put my my pencil and pen in here and my books that I want to read later. So I can only fit one book. I love that there's a map now. Makes it a little bit easier, no? It's a small book. I just need like a little pocket, uh, like a pocket Bible or something, you know? Some more stuff over there. I don't know if I've actually been to this bit before. We left a lot of food back at that little house, but we can always head back there. It seems safe enough. It's very isolated. I mean, there's one zombie in that other house. There's the big house, and then there's the small house, and both of them have food in them. So I think if we just go for a little stroll, see what's down here. It's nice and open down here, so the visibility's good. I can see zombies way ahead of them getting to me. Just got to check behind me every once in a while. <laughs> We could do some foraging, but we'd have to find some farming tools. The big one would be pretty good for farming. Is it safe, though? I guess it's so isolated. We'd only really have to, to fend off migrations, and then if we pulled zombies to it accidentally, but with a vehicle, we could probably not do that. I hope. Okay, what is this area that I'm in right now? There's something up ahead. What is this? It looks like a, it's like a farm shed. We're back on the farm. Look at this. Let's have a look in. We'd have to break the window, right? There's a couple of other windows back here. We have to get in here. Do we risk smashing the window? There's so much stuff in there. Okay. That hurt. I've got the uh, adhesive bandage. There's lodged glass shards in there too. Okay, it's bandaged. So we want to climb. We want to remove the broken glass. Can you do that with uh, ripped sheets? Use the tweezers. I, f I forgot to do it actually. I have tweezers. I do have them. I don't think I need them right now, though. Use the gun. 
equip my weapon? Oh. To remove the glass? Uh. How do you climb in? Climb through. Oh, E. What is this? Like a big potato processing plant? Sack of peaches. Sack of cabbages. It's like a big grain store or like a like a harvest store. All this fresh food is going to go off eventually though, right? Oh, I didn't bring any food with me. I'm so stupid. Well, luckily there's a whole bunch of food in here. Okay, where are the peaches? Okay, I'm just gonna give myself uh, massive diarrhea from eating uh, all these peaches. I can put these back in the sack. I can put them in the, uh... wait, we can drop this, right? Drop this sack. put these in the satchel okay I got a whole bunch of peaches that we can snack on all throughout the day now but I'm in a bit of pain there might be some tools and stuff in here too right could be might be a light switch in here too you'd think I don't see one cherries corn potatoes more potatoes eggplants apples onions more potatoes we've got to get this stuff into the fridge would be good right including these peaches it's two encumbrance okay good Fresh food. Yeah? Okay, it looks like there's a couple of little buildings over here. We're in a bit of pain because of my, uh, my stupidity, but it's gonna happen, unfortunately. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. What's uh, climb through? Oh, hold E. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to uh, drop this just for now because it, it's too much for me this this guitar let's grab some of these pipes they weigh a bit there's a screwdriver here too that can go in the satchel some wire I think uh, I can do pipe stuff right there's some duct tape Ooh, there's an empty gas can here too there's a dust there's a dust mask Perfect. This will help us with the uh, with the smell of bodies, right? Light bulb, empty gas can. Let's grab one for now. Okay, there's a little shed. That means that there's got to be a farmhouse around here somewhere, right? Let's not exert ourselves too much. Is this the this is is this the farmhouse I always end up in, in the field where I crashed my car like a million times? You think my hands are really infected? I'm gonna remove this dirty bandage and check it out. Okay, it is infected. You're right. 
got to use my tweezers here. Let me unpack them. Okay, I'm removing glass from my hand. Nice. And I'm going to drop these dirty rags. And I'm going to make a bandage for my right hand. And I'm going to also take some painkillers. To help with the pain. And then I'm going to light my hand on fire to uh, get rid of the infection, probably. Or saw it off. I could just saw it, saw it right off, right? Well, I need to uh, give myself stitches with a thread, or I need to make a first aid kit or something. Should have kept the bleach. I know I could have uh, had a cup, finished myself off. Yeah, I know it's just a it's just a wound infection, right? It's not like the uh, it's not like the big you're turning into a zombie infection. I can only get that from uh, zombie saliva, which I don't think there was any on that window. At least I hope there wasn't. Fresh food store. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything this far up. This does look like farmland, though. Look, it's got like the. Uh, you can see, but although having said that, there are stumps and stuff here, so maybe not a great farmer. He's left stumps all in his fields and rocks. Okay, I found some kind of path, so this might be like a field separator or might lead up to like a, a building of some sort. We're a little um, tired and thirsty. I didn't bring my uh, my mug of water with me. Oh, I see. We've traveled a ways. I got all these fresh peaches on me, so hopefully they won't spoil. I guess all the stuff in storage and... Uh, does the sack prevent it from spoiling too fast, or what? I'm getting a little bit tired. I also am carrying way too much stuff, right? I need a, a bigger duffel bag. Oh! Okay, we might be able to have a rest here. I found uh, a house. We might even be able to live here. Imagine full-time living here. Be great. TV on in there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, we didn't see any coming this way, so hopefully the noise hasn't attracted anything this way. And if even if it has. Maybe just a couple of stragglers that I could take out with my uh, with my new my new pipe, my big new pipe. go back and check it out, right? Vehicle maintenance, cooking. Oh, 
We'll have a smoke while we're out here. Why not? Let's pack up these pipes. Let's pack up these matches. Tweezers, we don't need them for now. Painkillers? We don't really need them for now, I don't think. Could put those in the fanny pack, actually. The gas can can fit in the satchel. That's crazy. All right, that's a bit better. It's not so heavy, the load. Okay, let's go back to the house and just see what the deal is. See if that'll... Okay, I can hear some zombies. I heard at least one. The alarm seems to be off now. Hold M. What does that do? Oh, show hide the world map. I c okay. Put the screwdriver in my belt. Attach to belt left. Is this equipped to my primary? It is now. Okay, I feel like maybe... There's no zombies around here, because look at this. We might live here. Does this lead outside? One of them? Okay. More painkillers? Can never have too many, I guess. Let's drink. Um, let's eat. Eat a peach. Alright, feeling better. Kitchen tongs, a spatula, wooden cutting board, a grill brush. There's a couple of uh, pieces of junk here. There's quite a bit of food here. And we can get the... Um, peaches in here. There. Okay. Keep it fresh. Premium Techno Channel Turbo. Life and Living TV. We can sleep. Is there no bedroom in here? Yeah, there is, look. There's a sport t-shirt. Okay, we can sleep in here. Some storage in here. Ooh. Okay, we've got a hammer and a screwdriver now. Good. Oh, my lord. Look at this. Farming volume 1, mechanics volume 2, foraging volume 2 and volume 5.
I thought I heard something outside. Do you want to try to fortify this place a little? There's another bookshelf here, too. It doesn't have anything on it, though. Woodcraft! Welcome back to Exposure Survival. I'm Dean and we're going back to nature. So you're a million miles from civilization, right? You've got a camp. You've got a water supply. What are we going to get from this? Fishing, trapping, foraging? It's survivalist skills, right? Farming just went up. Farming and boredom. He's teaching us some good farming. Oh yeah, look, it's going up. We might get a full skill in farming. I'm reading that the farming book as well. Read farming at the same time. Nice. We got one skill in farming. Look at this. Time to plant some canola. Right as rain today, sick tomorrow, but anxious always. I know how that feels. You need a safety net. You need reassurance. Today, my friend, you need value insurance. Medical care to look after all of your tomorrows. That's exactly what I need. Okay, I think that's it for the TV. We got here just in time for the, uh, for the TV, right? It's pretty good. Leave it on just in case... Uh, some more stuff comes on. Um, right. Sit on ground carpentry. Investigate this area. We can disassemble stuff. If we want to. We're not feeling too bad. Where did my um, inventory thing go? I had it here before and now it's gone. Cooking Volume 1. Cooking for Beginners. Number of pages. 220 pages. I'm going to wash myself quick. Actually, I'm going to take a look at this wound. See how it's doing. How's my pro gamer injury healing? Do you know what? It's feeling a bit better. It's a lot less painful today than it has been. I can actually just kind of sit normally and not. It's like still in the background, but it's not too bad. This is a deep wound that's infected. Right. So if I use thread and tweezers, Can I stitch myself, or do I need something different for that? Right click on the wound. Gunshots? Oh, you need a needle. Alright, I'll just have to bandage it up for now then and hope for the best. Did you hear that gunshot? Crazy. Okay, I'll hold M. I know it means so much to you. Alright, so fresh food. Um, this, is, uh, this is reasonably safe. The alarm went off and nothing, uh, nothing came over here, which is good, right? All right, books. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff that I'm carrying around with me, right?
put all my books in here. My CD, Moments in Time as well. Crossword Magazine. Empty Gas Can. We should probably take the Empty Gas Can with us, right? Because if we find fuel, then we can uh, fill it up. Saw I don't need here to take with me, right? I would really just use this here to disassemble furniture and stuff. Ripped sheets, wire I don't need to take with me. I don't need this gun with me right now. Lighter and matches I could take with me. Painkillers, I should probably take a pill. Because I'm still in pain. I'm feeling sleepy now too. Maybe it's time to just get a rest. Okay, hammer is on my tool belt. Tweezers. Thread. Ripped sheets. We'll take a couple of ripped sheets with us. Farming volume one is put in here for now. Painkillers back in here. Dirty rags. They could just drop on the ground, right? I don't really need dirty rags for anything. Would, do we need dirty rags for anything? Okay, good. We actually have some space to hold stuff. This is great. Okay, let's drink some water. Let's eat a peach. Oh, you can wash dirty rags. Maybe I should wash some dirty rags then. While the water's still running, right? Okay. So now it's just rip sheets. Perfect, perfect. Okay, this is good. And then in the satchel, just a load of ripped sheets that weigh 1.45. That's a lot of ripped sheets. Maybe I don't need to take this many ripped sheets with me. Can you just make them into bandages or not? Nah? How do I just take like, oh. I think I just want like, you know, three or four ripped sheets. Just to, you know, just in case I got a bandage up. Okay. Let's sleep. Oh, man. Okay, we've survived again. I think we've woken up just in the middle of the night, but it's fine. We're in pain again. Okay, let's start reading this uh, cooking. We'll sit in front of the TV just in case too, right? Cooking volume one. We can blast through this. Wait for some daylight. Hey, Yogscast, thanks so much for the raid. What's up, raiders? we get skills oh carpentry has gone up a little bit cooking we got as well so it looks like we still benefited from um, the TV show coming on and teaching us a bit of carpentry that's good actually carpentry we need right we want to dis start disassembling stuff as well maybe start reinforcing some of the windows and shit in here Oh, you can only sit on furniture with mods? Okay, we'll have to get a mod where we can sit on furniture. That would be nice, right? Okay. That is Cooking Volume 1 completely read. This book gives you an XP multiplier for the level 1 to 2 skill. Okay. Um, we can drop this now. Read. Read it. Okay, I'm going to have a nice peach. A 
electric watch is a must. Okay, let me just check on this bandage. Got a clean one on. All right, great. Put that in the satchel. Let's have a smoke. It'll get our uh, anxiety down, I think. Yeah, perfect. Um, we can pop a painkiller as well. Oh yeah, what's in my fanny pack? I forgot. Oh, Forging Volume 1. Okay, we do not need Forging Volume 1. We do not need to take this with us. Wait. I didn't want to put it on the ground, though. Forging Volume 1. Okay, red books will stay on the ground. Alright. Let's go have a look around. This is a nice spot. Very uh, isolated. Not, uh... It doesn't have, like, the big fenced-off backyard, but, I mean, we could probably make our own fences. What are, like, the, uh... What's the deal with, um stuff in this game uh being able to like break down walls and doors and stuff like that like what's what's like a safe thing to build a perimeter with cars they can go under the cars though right You can use metalwork later on, but supplies might be low. Log walls are most durable, but can still be destroyed eventually. But where are we talking like a massive horde really needing to get in and all slamming on a... I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more like... I need something just to keep like stragglers out. Like we're pretty isolated out here. Especially if we get a vehicle and we can make it back out here all the time, you know? We can just ha get like a nice secluded base and survive why are we leaving town or not we're just exploring around here to see if there's anything else to loot we have quite a good supply of food i think i gotta get carpentry up so i can make some rain catchers and then potentially put some on the roof and then plug plug them into sinks i think the rain catchers when they're plumbed um, filter water as well, right? So there's no, like, disease in the water. I think that's the way it works. With foraging, you can get some good things, like food and natural medicines. Okay. There's like this massive wall of forest here that I can probably skip by. Reasonably safe. Go back down to the fresh food store. We could start lugging some of this food back up to the fridge. The fridge isn't going to last forever. The power will get cut off at some point, but it'd be good to just have like a nice supply of... Uh, of food at our house. Start moving some of that canned food up as well. Be good to have a car. We're in a bit of pain. We're a little bit wet and we're a little bit hungry, but that's okay. At least the wetness is gone. If you have a car, you'll die based on your previous playthroughs. <laughs> oh, it has some good crashes. I was watching a... <laughs> there's a video on my channel that has over a million views of me crashing a car in this game. 
Uh, fuck. I need to address my hand. Yeah, I, well, look, it's. I think it's drying up a bit. It's still, the bandage is still clean. I put it on back at the house. We've been out here this whole time and it hasn't gone dirty, so maybe it's, uh, maybe we're on the up, you know? All right. If we want to head back down towards here, we probably can. At least make it to the main road and see if there's anything over here. See what's over here? If we, if we draw zombies to this location, it's not so bad. We just don't really want to draw them to where we're hoping to have a house, right? But let's take a look over here and see if there's anything, anything good. If we could find, like, a, you know, parking lot with cars... I don't think we can hotwire any cars, but if we can find one that has keys in it, then we could be good to go. It looks like this is just like solid forest here that I don't really want to travel through. So you can get ambushed, right? Check zombies for keys. Yeah, I've only killed uh, one zombie so far. I'm just going to take my pills. find somewhere to get some um, some water as well. These houses back here have tin food, but the only thing is I don't have a can opener yet. So all that tin food is kind of useless for now. I actually just find it easier to click on this. Okay, so the road is behind these trees. So it looks like there's a little path into here from the road. This whole area is just so empty of zombies. It's great. Yeah, you can build in this. You can build all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of nice little crafting things that you can do. You can chop down trees, yeah. No zombies in your zombie game? Just how you like it? Same here. Same here. Look how much trash there is. I don't know if you can rummage through this trash, though. Or these boxes. Yeah, we can maybe use this as, like, a bit of a safe house for now. Somewhere, we, somewhere close that we can get back to. I mean, we can go in here and get a drink at the very least. We've been here. Um, is there anything fresh in here? Yeah, there's some uh, lemons. Ugh. Okay, that'll do for now. Was there a... No, there's just a pencil and a pen, which we don't need. There wasn't really anything else here, right? Let's check this bandage. All right, we're all bandaged up again. Okay, good. Just need to dry off a little, but otherwise we're fine. Okay, let's uh, venture down this way. This connects to the road eventually. Could be some cars on the road or on the side of the road. And if we can see what's on the other side of the road, there's more civilization on the other side, right? So we're kind of in this like safe spot. But then we can get in... Oh, look, mailboxes. Sometimes there's stuff in here, right? Eating the whole stick of butter will strengthen my immune system. Nice. Okay, I'm on the road again. So... 
We came through this way. It's quite quite built up. It's a bit of forest and stuff too. Nothing really followed us up here, but there were zombies on the road, right? So let's follow the road back down here. We don't have to like overly commit. We, let's just like try to s try to sneak in a little bit and see if there's anything uh, that we can get. Get a couple of um, kills under our belt too, right? So we can get some skill ups. So we have fitness, strength, sprinting, short blade. Oh, short blade. So what do I need for that? Just a knife, like a small knife. Okay, I'll see if I can find one. Scalpel, yeah, that'd be good. And what do I need? A needle to do um, to do stitches? Okay, I'll see if I can find one of those too. And a uh, vehicle would be nice. I've got the gas can on me, so we can find some fuel. What do we need to siphon fuel out of uh, vehicles? Do you need a hose? Or can you just siphon it with your, with your damn mouth? Just the can? Okay, so we could potentially steal some fuel from cars that we might not be able to get into. I can't hotwire cars, so there's no point smashing into cars. I hear someone. Okay, we're getting close. Um, this little house, I don't know. Did I go into this little house off the road here? Might be worth checking. I didn't mark it, but at the time, I don't think I was using my map that much. We go check it out. Might be safer than just going into the... Oh, okay, so there's a couple of... A couple of bad guys here. Where are they heading so quickly? There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, they're just migrating, I think. They haven't seen me. You gotta press Q to kill all the zombies. Yeah, if you press Q, you can um, scream them all to death. I, I mean, I could do it just to get them to come over to me. I don't want to fight this many at once, though. I need to start. I need to try to peel off like one or two, and then work on my combat skills. We're a little hungry. It looks like the uh, the effects of that one lemon has has worn off. Do a crouch and cue for a quiet shout. Hey, Melon knows. Over here. Going in. Whoa. <laughs> My pipe. <laughs> My pipe broke already. One shot. <laughs> My God. Son of a bitch. The hammer's broken now, too. <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> what a failure. What a failure that was. Okay. I got a bit of stamina. I'm running back. No, no, I don't want to... I don't want to break the screwdriver. I need something a bit more sturdy. I got two more metal pipes back at home, but it's so far away. Oh, God.
you know what? I think I am going to eat that whole stick of butter. I got to cheer myself up after that. That was unbelievable. That was just unbelievable, wasn't it? At least we get some good sprinting um, skill in, right? Look at this. We got 32 XP from sprinting so far. Very nice. Does it only count if you're sprinting near zombies? Or do you, you can you just like have a workout routine and just go for it? Oh, there's a lighter in here. Nice. And some fertilizer. Okay, we'll have to remember that. We can't get that any of that stuff, though. All right. I'm going to eat all this butter. Got to eat it while it's fresh, you know? That's too good. Okay, we're well fed now, but we're unpleasantly hot at the moment. Unfortunately, I don't have a hammer because it broke. I don't know if I can repair it with anything. Some scrap wood and a doorknob. I don't need that. I don't I don't need that. I can't disassemble this. Or this. Did that give me any carpentry skill? It gave me a little tiny bit, I think. And we got the cooking um, modifier now, too. Combine a doorknob and a sock. Nice. Okay, I'm bandaging up my deep wound. I'll put this in the cupboard. I don't think I can repair this. I need wood glue, duct tape, glue, and adhesive tape, which I have none of. So we're just going to have to put this in here for now. Eddie Monroe's key ring. Nice. We're getting a little bit sleepy. Oh yeah, we need to uh, have a smoke as well. We're going to have to find some more of these bad boys, right? Keep the anxiety down. I left the door open here. Wait, did I? I must have. Oh yeah, this is where I dropped all the bleach and stuff, hey? Look, I, yeah, I did. I can't believe it. Carrots and eggplants fresh. Headphones? You don't need headphones for anything, right? Baggy jeans. A tissue. I think I got everything from in here, right? Medicine cabinet as well. There's some cologne and some foundation. Oh, I didn't check this, though. Oh, Word Search Magazine. That's it. Oh, nice. Carpentry. Sorry, ladies, but the shirt is still on. Turn it down, I have. It's the lowest volume. 
15 minutes for our trip down, split evenly between the global initiative and anything else we wanted to own. But as you'll see now, in the and the Okay, carpentry level one has been unlocked. I can't wait to go find some VHS tapes. Of the New Yorker, you say, quote, I'm 60 years old and I've gone near God, and I'm worried about how many lives I can save before I do die. Is that what drives you in your efforts? I know, my UI is so huge, I can't, I, I don't know how to make it smaller. We tried, but... I think it's like my uh, the resolution of my monitor. Whoa, we almost got another... Look at that, we're like halfway through. It's crazy. Next time, Woodcraft, doors. Can I hear a yeehaw? Yeehaw! Welcome to Pilocrep. What can I get for you today? Pancakes! <laughs> If you would have read the carpentry book, I would have had two levels. I know I left all my books uh, behind, though. Fortunately, look, I'm getting some uh, first aid levels as well from all these cuts. Oh, that's great. Okay, good. All right. So I am currently here. I'm here. I'm here. It looks like there's just a, a little wooded area, and then we can break into what looks like a different spot. I have no weapon. I should warn you. We're quite tired, actually. May, it might be worth sleeping and trying this in the uh, in the morning because we don't want to run out of puff, right? Oh, fishing. Fishing. There's some fishing fishing skills happening here. Okay, I'll sit down. I didn't realize there was another show coming on so fast. I always carry a paperclip, guys, and so should you. It's the first thing they teach in the army. <laughs> All right, we got half a level in fishing from that. That's pretty good. Okay, it's an antique television. Let me have a drink of water and then we'll go to bed. My right hand bandage is looking fine for now too. I'm gonna close this door just in case. Uh-oh. Okay. It's the middle of the night, but there's still electricity at least, right? Where's the corpse? Okay, I... Unfortunately, I didn't bring any of my books or anything, so I don't know what we're meant to be doing here right now, except for just popping painkillers. We'll go explore that other way. Have a look around for a weapon? I don't think there is any here, though. How's my wound looking? It's uh, deep and still infected. All right. 
This could be a bit crazy, but... As it is quite dark, and I don't have a weapon. But we want to see what's on the other side here. It's like a, some crops. Big crops. It's a huge farm here, it looks like. We could scratch up our hands by digging a furrow as well if we want to. It's my farm. It's all my cotton. Al still hasn't harvested it all. The dummy. Alright. We can get to this place from this side. We might just have to use the screwdriver, right? What is this thing shaking around for? Pack some dirt into my deep infected wound. a zombie? A bloody tank top. Shoes in a dent. How did this one die? I didn't kill it. It's just dead out here in a field. Maybe old age. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my screwdriver, I think. and a gold ring. Okay. I'm wearing a dead man's briefs. Okay, the screwdriver takes a long time to kill stuff with, but it looks like we found the edge of this field at least. We're a bit hungry. Where am I in relation to this? Oh, I see. This house is down here, within here. Let's go to it and see what's there. Okay, I didn't kill myself jumping over a fence. It's always a bit of a um, a risk. <laughs> <laughs> in a game such as this one. Shove zombies to the floor and stamp their heads. Um what, just with my with my loving shoving arms? see anything around here. I don't know if this place is actually within the bounds of here. Whoa, this is one of the... Oh, look at it. This is for cows. For them to scratch. Does that mean there's some cows out here? It's like a cow scratching post. So this is a big cow pasture. This is where they feed. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of buildings potentially down here. Farm buildings. It's a huge field. Alright, here's the cow shed. It's a house. It's a little play playground there. It's 
like we got some company. Did it just open a door? Oh god. Let's try to cut out the window. That scared the shit out of me. This... Oh, it's out. There's a belly button ring. Yes, please. And a strapless bra. Hell yeah. Oh, whoops. I don't think I put the strapless bra on. Newspaper. It's a nice tool shed here. Spare engine parts, scrap electronics. There's an old muffler. Electric wire, another empty gas can. Can leave some of this stuff for now. There's a rake, another screwdriver. Oh, one plank. Ah, here we go. Let's attach one of these to our back. A pipe is better than nothing, right? Okay, old old Grandma Joe's coming in now. Okay, I'm going to put these dangly ruby earrings on. I'm going to put this on my middle finger. I'm going to wear this necklace with the crucifix. Put this on my right wrist. Strap small dress. Black underpants. This lady knew how to live. But as it happens, I love it. I mean, I feel like the grace I get. All right, nice. Um, how are my bandages looking? Not great. Bandage them up again. I'll wash them. See if I can find some food. I can hear a zombie, but I don't know where it is. Must be in one of these rooms, right? Uh, this is a mutton chop fresh uncooked. We're looking for a can opener. Some chocolate in here. Can eat that. Ah! I might be able to stitch myself up with this needle. I think it's in there. You're doing great, Dad! Trying to get out the other side, I think. Is it upstairs? Must be upstairs, right? Oh, maybe it's in here, actually. Oh, no, I can see in here. Isn't this the place that I always end up at? No, this is not, right? Because the... Oh, no, this is. No, the shed's different. I think we're in a different spot. Yeah, this is different, a uh, different spot, but look how close it is to uh, everything else here, too. It's nice. I'm sure we've been here before. Forging Volume 1. There's an eraser here, too. Okay, let me grab that. We need to make some 
updates to the map. I think it's here. Yeah, it is. Look. Jesus. A locket. Black frilly underpants. Okay. Heck yeah. And a and black frilly strapless bra as well. Perfect. Uh, we don't need a locket. It's just junk, right? Anyone up here? Newspaper. There's some t-shirts and stuff. We can leave all that. It's fine. Some storage in here. Ooh. Okay. Let's uh, attach this to our belt right. There's a, a full leash here. There's some batteries. These might be good, right? Oh. Hoodie? Oh, look at this. Some nice clothes. Some, some more shoes if we need them. This place is crazy. Ah, oh, man. Yes. Adhesive bandages. Blonde hair dye, hairspray, and a plunger. Anyone home? Short sleeve shirt. Pants and a formal shirt. Newspaper. Turn some lights on in here. All right. The only thing is, though, is there's no uh, can opener. But we're close enough to the town where we might be able to find something. Um, the other issue is that there's maybe some clothes in here. How about a quick wash? Those clothes are huge for the winter. What, like the hoodie and the, the vest and stuff? You can use the washer and the dryer as well. What, for your clothes? Hey, Goober Bean Goober, thanks so much for the 500 bits. That's not a horker, that's my wife. Just finished rewatching both Skyrim playthroughs. Love you, Dad. Thank you so much, Goober Bean Goober. Thank you. Okay. Let's grab this corpse. Let's drop it out here. Close the door. And uh, maybe we can read uh, Forging Volume 1. Read it in front of the TV in case the TV comes on. I'm going to just close the window as well and close the curtains. Yeah, we'll try to uh, to dry off a little bit. We'll have a smoke after we're done reading as well. The bandages are all dirty again. Foraging, uh, we should get some skill ups soon. I think there's a foraging show on the TV. There you go, look at that. We're getting carpentry too. Very nice. So we got cooking, farming, and carpentry at two. Fishing. Forging is not going up. Maybe you just get a big dump of skills after you finish reading the book. Nope. 
It just gives you the multiplier, but no actual... Oh, thank you very much. No actual foraging. Okay, so this is red. Okay, let's smoke. Get rid of some of this anxiety. Forging goes up really quickly when you do it. Well, with the multiplier, you mean? Do I need gloves or something to do foraging? Because won't I um, cut up my hands and stuff? Okay, we can drop the this bra. Um, let's remove this and see if I can use the needle. Adhesive bandages? Sure. Oh, I've got thread, actually. I do have thread. Um, in my satchel. I didn't bring it with me. I brought the tweezers, though. Thread you can get from um, ripping up um, stuff, though, right? Let's drop these briefs. Put the batteries in the fanny pack. Clean that. Let's put this in the fanny pack as well. Matches in the satchel. Needle in the satchel. What else have we got in here right now? Oh, painkillers. Take some. Put that back in too. forging system is kind of broken didn't they change it though or am I um, is my info incorrect I think I heard somebody out here hello I need some food That's the farmhouse, the shed, and I think there's the cow shed, and there, it looks like there's another, um, oh, that's a gate, neat. So there's the cow shed, and then there's another little, maybe it's like a tool shed or something? I don't know if there's anything in here even, probably not, right? There could be like some tools or something, but I doubt it. No, nah, there's nothing in here. Oh. There's a couple of nasty bitches out here. There is another building up here, though. We could see what it is. It's like some sort of tool shed. I should probably go back and get... Um... Oh, I forgot to drink in the house. I should go back and get a drink. Start a farm and get a billion? Start a farm and kill a billion, you mean? I bent my Wookiee. We could go play in outside for a bit. Might be fun. All right, let me have a drink. Want to get want to want to grab this and uh, cook it? The mutton chop. See if there's some. There's a baking tray. There's a roasting pan. We can roast it up. Create a roast from mutton chop, fresh, uncooked. Nice. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, turn on settings. Mutton roast. Ok, 
Okay, I've got the oven is on. It's cooking. I don't have an oven glove though. I don't want to burn it. I don't want to burn this whole house down. That would suck. How infected is my hand? It's infected. It's just a deep wound from uh, glass shards. I had tweezers, so I took the glass out. I think it'll just heal over time. It doesn't seem so bad. It, it gets dirty pretty quick, but... How long uh, before it starts to burn? You like my Pokemon cap? Thanks so much. You hate my Pokemon cap. Okay, now it's burning. Oh man, this is going to be good. Look, would you look at that? Perfect. Okay, now that we've eaten, let's go to bed. Can we just sleep on the couch here in front of the TV? Don't think you can. You can sleep in a chair. Bed quality is average. I mean, there's perfectly good beds upstairs, right? I just don't want to miss my favorite shows, you know? But maybe you're just going to have to miss my favorite shows. Alright, I'm going to bed. Uh oh. Gunshots in the night. Waffles? Pancakes! What sort of pancakes, sir? Alright. I've got to clean my clothes. I've got a lot of blood on my clothes. It's stinky. I need a can opener as well. We're hungry again. After that feast. I think if you keep bandaging the infected deep wound, it'll it'll cure though. I think after it takes a while, but after after some time, it's fine. You just gotta walk it off. That's it. I gotta clean my black frilly underpants. Oh, if you add more meat to the roast, it'll fill you up more. I know there's antibiotics in the game, but um, I just gotta find them, you know. How many zombies are in this area? There's not many, actually. There's only a couple down the road. There's another shed that we haven't seen yet, so we're going to go see if we can find out what it is. All right, perfect. We need, like, a central base. There's um, there's fridge and there's the freezer as well, right? Looks like there's some um, fresh, uncooked sausage. Um, 
I don't know what you need for the for the sausage. Is there a frying pan? A tumbler? We're a little thirsty. We're hungry again, too. You know, there's a lot of mutton to go around here. Holy crap. Alright, good. Have a drink. Um, let's put this, uh, sausage back in the freezer. <laughs> let's put this roasting pan, uh, away as well. I don't need to carry it around with me. We're gonna need to take some painkillers. Yep. Nothing on TV just yet. I read all the books in here. We need to move some of our books back uh, to this house, right? I think we'll try to make this um, our base, if possible. We could fortify it a little. Is there anything that we can disassemble? No. I can't seem to disassemble. Ah, I can. Okay. Let's do a bit of carpentry today. My, my cigarettes are stashed in my bra. I've stashed them in there already. What's this? We're getting bored. Ah, nails. And scrap wood. And we got one plank here too. Wooden floor. How do you um how do you fortify a window again? You do it from the outside. Carpentry, wooden floor, wall. No. Use left side buttons and click disassemble. Use left side buttons. I don't know what that means. Oh, on the left side of my screen. Which one is a disassemble button? Pick up, place, rotate. Crafting. Drill plank. I don't want that. The last one is the map. Oh, I need more nails. That's why. Oh, I see. Oh, disassemble, I see. So this one needs a saw, which I actually do have. Ah, more nails. And even more nails. Barricade with planks. Unbarricade. Is that uh, is that the barricade made? Okay, I can't barricade that either. Scrap. What do you do with scrap wood? You can't disassemble this chair. It just, you can't even highlight it. Mm. 
eat it. Can I burn these bodies out here with the uh, with the scrap wood? Make a big bonfire. Oh, I could recycle it. That's a good idea, actually. Okay, I don't need to carry a plank around with me, though, right? I'm going to start storing my planks in here. For now. Okay, we've eaten. We've had something to drink. Let's go and see what's in this other building out here. Past the, uh, the cow shed. Under the cover of darkness. Maybe get some nice sneaking skills in. Is this game any good? Yeah, it's changed a lot since it came out. It is very good. It's fun. You kind of got to be in the mood for it, but it is a it is a great game. It looks like it's another cow shed, which is not very good for us. There's nothing in a, in a cow shed. There's some zombies there. Is there anything in this cow shed? It's very dark. I got cat's eyes though. I got 15 smokes left. Alright, is there any more bad guys? Oh yeah, there's lots. Why are there so many over here? I don't think there's anything over here. This gets us back into civilization, which I think we probably want to just start working our way through to get to some of these places, right? Because the looting will be a little bit better there. Oh, it's a bit safer to go through the gate, I think, rather than jumping over the fence every time. We might, uh, we might hurt ourselves. Okay, I've checked all those corpses. I'll just get a quick um, drink from the sink here, and then uh, we'll make our way over the other way. There's lots of zombies, though. We're going to have to start killing some of them, right? Can't, uh, can't keep leaving them. Yeah, the hand is still um, not doing great. We need to find some uh, some stuff for that. Just heal it. All right, Dowie. Oh. Anything? 
not really just clothes and jewelry we're dripping now jewelry we got so much all right so down here is the is an intersection and then into town as it's getting a little bit lighter now it might be a little less ri it, it'll be risky no matter what because i don't have great combat skills and there was quite a few zombies when we were running out of there at the start right Let's go down this way. You can't you can make a cure in this though, can't you? It takes some doing, but like if you you can learn all the skills and you can actually make uh make a cure, is that a mod? You have to inject it. It's not like a permanent cure either, right? You have to have loads of syringes. It's basically just like uh, delays. You keep injecting yourself. It just keeps delaying it for a bit. Yeah, this is the first time I've played in some time, yeah. An annotated map. That could be good. It could be good for us. Alright. A little risky, but we're going to go in and see if we can uh, find some places of interest to grab some stuff from. And we'll just uh, retreat back to our farmhouse as and when we need to. There might be some stuff down here, too, that might be a little bit safer to get to. The side of the road. There's definitely stuff on the top side of the road. Ah, yeah, there is something here. Hopefully it's a parking lot. A car would be great. It's a gas station. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's good. We can fill up the can. There's a car there, too. You might need to peel some of these guys off. Gently fight them. one's got a black corset on and some black frilly underpants too my kind of woman i'm gonna try to check the glove box yeah but i need to uh light footed ah nice okay good we're getting some nice sneaking skill from sneaking around zombies these guys have seen me hopefully i can just lure them back here Okay, got one of them. Um, there's a hand fork here, which I don't know if it counts as um, a blade. Tights transparent, so this is the woman's body. Baggy jeans, briefs, long socks, an empty notebook. Nothing on the floor. Okay, we might actually be able to get into this car.
There doesn't seem to be anybody close to the car right now. If we can sneak and check out, maybe check the trunk. How do you look in the trunk? Is this uh, gas can? All right, I got a bit of gas at least. I think. Where is it though? Not in here. I'm holding it. Oh, I didn't even get any gas. How do I drop this thing? And a jacket. Oh, here we go. Okay, got a, da a black digital watch. I can actually see what the time is, the temperature, everything now. That's great. How do I drop this gas can? Oh, click on top left. All oh, right, okay. Okay, now I've got some gas. Um, enter vehicle, vehicle mechanics, add gasoline. Don't want to do that. How do I try to open the trunk? Oh, it's E. Just press E, okay. I mean, I could have just gotten some gas from the pump. Uh, I didn't see any keys on any of these zombies for this car. Maybe I take this gas can back to um, back to my house, or at least just drop it somewhere I can pick it up, like in the middle of the road here. Okay, remind me it's there. Okay, I need some food. Oh, you can unlock the trunk from the driver's seat? Yeah, I know, but I don't want to smash my way in there, though. I don't want to make too much noise. I'll just check to see if it's open, because I didn't actually check to see if it's open. Nah, it's locked. Check the other side, just in case. Ah, it's locked. It's all locked. Oops. Looks like we got some some nasty buggers. That guy's got a knife in his back. Just does not want to. Okay, good. I'll come back for this guy in a sec. It's a free knife. Oh, there's quite a few of them here. I don't know if I can take on that many. If I can isolate some of them... All right. 
right, you know what? I'm going to run back because we need to eat and drink and take some painkillers. Oh. Now the gas can is just uh, in my inventory, which is fine. We could probably run away from these guys, right? Can you, like, uh, line of sight them? We have this annotated map that we can look at as well, right? Home sweet home, for now. Doesn't have to be our forever home, but it can just be somewhere that we uh, we hang out in for now. I need a can opener for all this canned food because we don't have any food. We might have to go up to, part of me to the uh, to that fresh food store that we found to get some more food because uh, I think I'm out. Oh, actually, I can make this sausage, but I don't have a frying pan. <clears throat> okay, good. Um, silver bangle. Ripped sheets. Oh, yeah, I should probably check on my uh, bandage, right? Um, where's this gas can? I'll drop this. That's full. Matches? You can drop this silver bangle. Put this in here. Metal pipe screwdriver. Annotated map. Read the map. Louisville KY. Creepy janitor's truck should be here. Mind the fence driving out? Okay. There's a creepy janitor's truck that we could potentially use if we ever make it into Louisville and go to the school, which... Uh, I, think that, I think that school is insane, right? We're not going to go there, probably. Okay, it has updated my map now that we found Louisville. It's far away. <laughs> okay, good. We'll put that in there for now. Anything in the satchel? I don't need to carry nails around with me. I don't need these batteries right now either. Oh, it's so great to have this watch actually. Really nice. Okay, we're a bit tired and uh, hungry and in pain. I don't think I have a way of uh, cooking up this uh, sausage, unfortunately. There's a, there's some pans and stuff on here, but canned corn, bowl of soup. Ah, oh, there's some, uh, there's rice, fresh uncooked, and a bowl of soup as well. Okay. Oh, it's rotten. I think the rice is... It's stale. Okay, let's cook the rice. The soup, let's just um, pour it on the ground. It does make you bored, however, but... At least it's food, right? Oh, here we go, look. Advanced carpentry. Okay, our boredom is going down now. Clean 
clean the house. No, no, it's fine. It's just a bit of blood. Let's build a bed, ladies. Let's do it now. Nice. Six planks, four nails, one mattress. Nice. Let carpentry go. Take six planks and four nails. Neat, huh? I'm taking y'all upstairs. <laughs> On stairs. Nice. Till next time. Woodcraft. Very good. I think I might have left the oven on, actually, yeah. I should probably turn it off, right? I don't want to burn the house down. Okay, good. That's a, that was some nice carpentry that we got there. I still can't uh, disassemble the blue rattan chair, but it's, it's probably because I need a saw or something, right? Okay, I'm going to go to bed. I think my sleep schedule is like all screwed up though, right? Because I'm going to bed at noon and waking up in like the evening. Oh. So a gunshot. I'm hungry again. And I need to uh, smoke. You think I can put the sausage into a uh, saucepan? Use the crafting menu to cook? Where is that? Cooking. Burrito. Name filter? Filter all? Known recipes, 275 out of 380. Okay, I can't cook any of this stuff, though. Can it go inside the oven? What, just on its own? I don't know why my health icon is bad. I think it's because I've got um, an infection in my hand. It's because of my deep wound. And it's unstitched? All oh, right, okay. So you think if I just put the sausage right in here and turn it on? Oh, look, we're defrosting it. It's defrosting. There we go. Now we're cooking it. Can I put the sausage in the wound? I hope so. That'd be sweet. Okay, let's eat it. We'll have a drink as well. Let's take some painkillers. All right, good. Okay, off we go again. Let's see if we can kill some of those zombies that followed us back a ways. Oh, shit, I left the oven on. Where's the, uh, where's the ground inventory? Where does that, where is that going? Ah, here it is.
I should probably start ripping up all this clothing that I'm not going to use as well, right? And see if I can get some thread. I keep forgetting to turn off the oven. We need this house. We need it so bad. I mean, there's the little shack, I guess, that we could have instead. Um, what did we get? Oh, we got some thread. Nice. So does that mean with uh, my needle, I can uh, I can stitch myself up? Yeah. I'm stitching. I did it. Wow! Okay, it's still infected, but at least... Oh. Okay, there's a couple of nasty boys here that we have to get rid of. This one's moving quite fast. Great. Anything on these guys? There's another red watch here. can cure the zombies with bleach. Okay, if I find some, that's the first thing I'm going to try to do. Let's put this stuff in this. Oh, look at all the thread I'm getting here. This is great. This will be really good for uh, for future um, dirty rags. I guess we could just clean a bunch of these. Hey, Dr. Dirt, thanks so much for the two bucks. Dr. Dirt, thank you. Yeah, my hand's stitched. I stitched it already, and I bandaged it up, too. Never mind the thread. Look at the underpants. Hey, what's up, Jim? How you doing? Okay, they followed me quite a ways, actually, surprisingly. I wish I had, I wish I had a silence pistol. I'd go in Hitman style, you know? Just gotta take them out one by one. Patience is the, is the key here. I'm dead. I don't think he bit me, though. But... I think it was close. Blue trunks. I think he... He absolutely demolished my... Uh, oh, shit. I got a severe laceration on my lo lower torso now. Okay, I bandaged it up. I might be able to perform some... Uh, some stitching on myself. I'm in a lot of pain, though. I need to go get those books. I need to stop being lazy, right? I need to go get this food as well. So we'll go up, we'll go back up this way and cut in. It's a bit of a trek. We'll go back up to reasonably safe and then come back.
Because there's no food here. I need to go grab some of those peaches and corn and all that other crap. Let's get a drink of water for the road, actually. If I had a can opener, we wouldn't really need to, to do it, but... I'm going to clean all these rags. I can't believe I lost my hat. Um, all right, let's go. We're off. We'll be back. It's a long way. There's a couple of houses along the way, but actually we could probably sleep soon and re reset our sleep schedule, right? Oh. This guy's got a hat. Okay, we're back we're back in with a chance now. Hey Valdana, thanks so much for the gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We gotta be careful in here, actually. Okay, once we get to one of these little houses, the little safe houses, let's sleep and try to um, try to get back into a better schedule of sleeping at night and being awake during the day, right? In fact, if I run the whole way, maybe I'll be tired enough to warrant to sleep. And we'll get there faster. I just got to keep the field in sight because I know when I get to the edge of the field that if I cut across, we'll be at those houses. It's like right here. It's very dark in the woods. Okay, here we go. This should be safe still. It looks amazing. Real quality stuff. I love it when you get in touch, Dean. It looks like the bargain of a lifetime. I don't know if this is like a skill up show or what. Welcome to Pile of Crep. Okay, it's not. Okay, there is some uh, fresh food to eat in here if we want. Carrots and eggplant. We'll leave that stuff in the fridge. There's a crossword magazine. There's a paper clip. He did say to always take a paper clip with you, right? And a rubber band for when I want to shoot up. <laughs> when I'm on the road. <laughs> Just a little... Just a little shoot up on the road. Okay. Fresh food store is just up here.
It's going to take a couple of trips, I think. But maybe we'll get stronger as a result. Good exercise and stuff. Keep the blood flowing for those wounds. I think it's safe in here. I don't know if there's a light in here. It would be good if there was, actually. It's very dark. Okay. Grab one. Oh, they're all stale. Okay, the potatoes are fine, though. There's some apples here as well. Okay. We're doing some huge weight training here. I got some potatoes and some apples. We'll stage them at the other house here. Very heavy load. Movement speed highly reduced. We're in pain. We're slightly thirsty. We're a bit moist. Moderate, moderate exertion, take a break. Okay, we want the exertion, right? Because uh, we want to get nice and tired so that we can sleep at night. So that we don't have to be skulking around at night. I'll get the potatoes and the apples into the fridge. And then we should have uh, enough food to last us for a little while, right? Until we can start maybe planting some. We need to find seeds. We probably need to find like a garden center. If we get them into the fridge and then we can uh, start moving some stuff down to the other house, it might be pretty good, right? Anything on TV? Nope. All right. We're putting the whole sack of potatoes and the whole sack of apples in here. Funnily enough, we're not actually hungry right now. Lower torso is bleeding. All right, good. We can sleep in here. We can sleep in here. We don't really want to disassemble this bed, right? Carpentry. Can you disassemble the, this carpet or anything? There's like this whole uh, kitchen area in here that we could potentially disassemble. Where were all those other books? Was it at this house down here? I think I had a whole bunch of books here, right? No, I didn't. I can't remember where those books are even at now. There's nothing here. Is there any food in here? There's a fresh lettuce. Do you think we have to wash the wound? I don't think you can, though. Wash. Wound. No, I don't think you can. I think we just gotta get some bandages back on here. Remove this one. Is my hand cured? 
No, it's still infected. Okay. Can we sleep? No. We can't sleep. It's three o'clock in the morning and uh, we're, we're awake still. That's silly. Just have a smoke outside. I can hear the bushes rustling. We're a little hungry. gonna eat this lettuce now we're sleepy okay this is good this is good oh we're experiencing too much pain to sleep okay I'm gonna have to take some painkillers no nope. is it because of the exertion Or after you've taken painkillers, do you have to have like a little rest? Now I can sleep. Okay, we're going to bed at 3.20 in the morning. And we'll hopefully just wake up at a decent time during the day. Yeah, it's 10.20 in the morning. It's very foggy though. Okay, so relatively safe must be where the, uh, reasonably safe, I should say. Reasonably safe is where all the books were, right? Tons of books up there. All right. And I think there was some food up there too. We'll hit the fresh food place again. See if there's any any more food that we can grab from there, and then we'll go up to reasonably safe, I guess, and uh, try to grab those books, or maybe even just operate from up there. I know that we got the gas station and stuff down at the uh, at the other farmhouse, but the other farmhouse is um, okay. Let me just mark it. So I know. All right, I took some more painkillers. So there's some stale cherries, fresh potatoes, and more fresh potatoes. Okay, I'll take two sacks of fresh potatoes any day of the week. Because we can do a lot, of, a lot of stuff with these potatoes, right? We can boil them, mash them, put them in a stew for me and you. I think there's a saw up here at Reasonably Safe, right? I think actually Reasonably Safe was somewhat well equipped. Just there was no food. So if we take this food uh, back up here, we can just chill, recuperate a little bit, have a drink, read some books, let some of these wounds heal would be nice. I'm carrying a lot of, uh, oh shit. I think I've dislocated my um, penis. We got some minor body damage. 
Okay, the the laceration has become moderate now, and it's no longer bleeding. So, hooray for us, I guess. Reasonably safe is still quite far away. It's a quite a distance to travel with so many fresh potatoes. What did I do to my stomach? I got in a bit of a tussle with a zombie and he um, not only um, verbally lacerated me with grunts and groans, but physically lacerated uh, my torso as well. We're playing this for another uh, hour and a bit and then uh, we're going to switch over to Helldivers, right? We're playing with uh, Rabs and Malf and Justin today. Do I think I'll survive another hour and a bit? I hope so. I think we've done pretty well. I haven't played this game in a long time and we're still alive. I mean, it was a little bit hairy at the start. We haven't we haven't died. Here a Wolverine, some sort of. I think we're almost there. Yeah, we are. Got two, two tracks to cross here, and we're safe for now. And drop off these potatoes. Sit down, have a rest. Read some skill books. Try to recover. This is a nice little house, actually. It's very isolated. And therefore, very safe. Watch it be just filled with zombies right now. <laughs> I haven't been back here in a little while. Oh, look. Something on TV. All right, let's get these potatoes into the fridge here. It's got all the peaches in here, too. All right, good. Metal pipe. Come today. Farming volume one. Sure. We can read about farming volume one. Was there anything in here? Oh, yeah. I put all these ripped sheets in here. So many ripped sheets. Good grief. I think uh, my saw is there too, right? All right. Let's have a drink. Let's clean these rags. Perfect. Let's sit on the ground. And let's read... Our favorite book, Farming Volume 1. Somebody's shooting a gun out there. Cooking Volume 1 is on the ground because I've read it already. Already read that one. Skills. Here we go. Farming Volume 1. Now we just got to actually go out and do some farming. Trapping. We just learned uh, a trapping. Very good. All right. So farming volume one can go on the ground as well. We've read that. Let me remove this bandage from my right hand and put a new one on.
Good. This is a cooking one. Lovingly layered on a thick pizza, pizza world crust. What do you make of that, pal? Jolly fantastic, I'll say. Oh. I'm going to disassemble this door. There's a door hinge and some scrap wood. What else have we got? Forging volume one has been read already. Forging volume two has not. I've got forging volume five. I got mechanics volume two and I've got, ah, uh, here's my thread and my saw as well. So I could probably start disassembling some stuff here too, right? We're a little hungry. Just gonna eat a peach. I'm gonna need to eat two peaches. I'm very hungry. That'll do. Um, we can have a smoke. Smoke them while you got them, I guess. We'll fill the room with our cigarette smoke as well, which will be really nice. Okay, let's uh, disassemble this door as well. Got some more door hinges and scrap wood. Okay, where are these door hinges? Let's put these here. Forging volume one is done. Scrap wood we can just drop drop out here, right? What book do I have? Oh, Forging Volume 1 is done. So let's get Forging Volume 2, I guess. Oh, skill level's too low to read. Even though I've read Volume 1, I think I actually have to do some foraging to get the skill level up, right? Mechanics Volume 2? don't think I can read Mechanics Volume 2 either, right? No, I can't. So, okay, so that's it for books for now. You do a crossword magazine. Do I need to do a crossword magazine, though? Probably not, right? Okay, reasonably safe. There's something over here through the woods we could go check out. It is 8 o'clock at night. We're in pain, but... Let's see what's through here. It might be a new uh, spot for us to... make some runs. To and from. We got a, we got a nice setup at Reasonably Safe. We just need some more books. Oh, look at that. Plus one sprinting. We're even better at sprinting now. What's this over here? Is this a field? This is a big harvested field, it looks like. I'm just sprinting everywhere. Well, I might as well, I guess, right? 
Get some skill ups. There's got to be some buildings and stuff over here. I thought. <laughs> Look at that. Al left a patch. And Al is always leaving patches. Uh, we are in like the heart of uh, farmland up here. Oh, here we go. I heard a cow. Hello, is anybody home? Oh, yes! Got some seeds. There's a club hammer here and a shovel as well. We need the shovel for gardening, right? Gravel bag and a rake. Nothing in here. Oh. Let's grab these fertilizer bags too. Why not? Okay. Alright, there's this whole field here. If we want to do some uh, farming, I guess we can now, right? Yeah, the fertilizer is heavy, but it'll be good to get some... Uh, some stuff growing, right? I don't have a watering can, though, but maybe rain will help. We're going to want to go to bed pretty soon anyway, so we can probably just sprint back. Get ourselves nice and tired. And wake up for another day. And if we're not tired, we can maybe make a start on some gardening. I, I think the stuff's going to die, though, if I can't water it. Oh. I thought I heard somebody in the, in the woods here. There's definitely something in the woods. Alright, we're back. Home sweet home. Great. Okay, we're a bit tired. Uh, so we got some fertilizer and... Um, we got some seeds as well. That's great. Good night, Milsheen. Taking down all the doors. Scrap wood. There's a garbage bag in there. Let's put some scrap wood in there too, and the fertilizer. Um, the shovel we need to uh, equip, right? To uh, to do stuff with it. Dig graves. Dig a furrow. And then we want some potato seeds. So 
sow seed, potatoes. Required seeds, four. Do I not have four seeds? Oh, you know what? It's probably because um, unequipped. You have to open the pack, right? Now we got 50. Okay, let's see what happens with these. In the meantime, let's get some strawberry seeds in here, potato seeds in here to the shovel. This can be our gardening um, thing, right? Oh, there's a worm here too. Unhappiness plus 20. What can you do with this thing? Just eat it? I guess we could probably use it for uh, fishing at some point, right? As bait? I'm not eating that. Tweezers, thread, ripped sheets. So many ripped sheets. We don't need this many ripped sheets, right? We just want, like, a couple. Club hammer and a saw to help us disassemble stuff. Oh, we're just using the hammer for this? How do you uh, use the saw instead of the uh, the hammer? You got to have the saw. Um, oh, where did the saw go even? Did it eat the saw? Oh, no, it's right here. If I put this in my primary, it'll work? No. All right, I guess it's just going to use the hammer every time. Oh, the saw is a requirement. It's just not animated. Oh, right. Okay. So it is using the saw. It uses both the uh, hammer and the saw, but you just don't see it. Sure. We're pretty tired. We're pretty hungry, too. I think if we eat before we go to bed... It's better, right? Oh. Oh, it's just a, it's just an ad, right? Greens is kind of a big de deal, but we haven't forgotten where we came from. We're looking for like the skill up shows, right? Like carpentry, woodworking. Okay, there are nails, some planks, and some scrap wood. I had no idea that Scandinavia was such an amazing place. Well, now you do. Have you seen me do this yet? No way! Uh-huh. And what can I put in there? <laughs> Vegetables? Meat? Your favorite snack? What are they talking about? This is the first machine of its kind. You know what? What? It's a dream to clean. Just watch. <laughs> 
Oh man, this some of these remind me of uh, like playing a LucasArts point and click adventure. Like the uh, the dialogue. Whoever wrote this uh, could have worked at LucasArts. Is there uh is there is there any skill up um, stuff coming? There's certain times of day, right, that you need to be by your TV for the skill up stuff. I think. Is that right? All right. Let me remove these dirty bandages before I go to bed. Okay, we've got a we've got an infection in our right hand and in our torso now as well, unfortunately. Okay, going to bed. Maybe we can start barricading the uh, house tomorrow a little. I'm going to give myself a good wash. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Before I do that, I'm going to remove these dirty bandages. And wash myself. What if you take a nice... Um, what if you take a bath in bleach? That should get rid of all of the uh, infections and stuff too, right? I think uh, I'm losing, I think I need to bandage myself up before I wash myself. So I'm losing health. And I'm losing my religion as well, yeah. I have no way of watering those potatoes, so I don't know if they'll ever grow into anything. All right, it looks like I missed a couple of buildings on the way here too. So we went straight up there, but we missed these ones to the side. So we're gonna go check those out right now. In this muggy, muggy weather. See if there's anything good over here. I just heard a turkey, I think. This is not a good idea, is it? Like, the visibility is just getting worse. It's clearing up a little bit now, I think. Let's have a smoke and take some painkillers. What a combo. I know. Ah, oh, there's a house here. All right. It's a house. Okay, we gotta be careful because there might be um, bad guys around. It looks like a little neighborhood here. But the uh, house that we're sort of bunked up in right now is set uh, apart from all these, so maybe it's safer. Yeah, 
I know. I can't see anything. I don't want to be taking too many unnecessary risks. There's probably a zombie or two in the house, I would have thought, right? Electronics Volume 3? There's a flashlight here, too. Could be good. And a screwdriver. There's a diamond pattern sweater and some pants. Okay. Some canned goods, some coffee, nice, and cereal, fruit jam and sugar. Somebody in here. I'm sure I just heard somebody. Nothing here. I don't think there's an upstairs to this. It must be in that room there, right? Ooh. Oh, maybe not. It's still very foggy out. Oh yeah, this one. Hoodie, pants, pillow. There's a belt, some black underpants, a knee-length skirt. Mmm. Just the thing for me. There's a jacket here too, but we got one already. No, there's not much here. No can opener. There's a fresh apple in the fridge. Might as well eat it, I guess. Uh, there's some stuff on the counter here. There's a rotten bowl of soup. There's a butter knife. I don't know if we need a butter knife. There's uh, some canned carrots. Yeah, we need a, uh, a can opener. There's no books or anything either, right? I think we got to wait for this fog to lift. Because I can't really go out there while well, it's so foggy, right? Reasonably safe. Watch the Life and Living channel at 12 p.m. Is that when it comes on? I hear a helicopter. It sounds far away, though. It's getting closer. reasonably safe. It's back this way. All right, well, if we're dying, we're dying near my crops. Sounds like it's over here. Right? It doesn't sound like directly above us. It'd be so loud.
Oh, it's Woodcraft. Your one-stop shop for home improvement. Today we're building a... Bookcase? I love those. You'll need five planks and four nails. Take your hammer like so and... Bang, bang! Okay, so we're talking to men today, apparently. Focus testing. You gotta love it, huh? Anyway, men like bars. They like beer. Sigh. Would you, dude, like to build a bar in your own home? <laughs> they say you really would. So, for the corners, four planks, four nails, and some nimble fingers. Oh, dude, this is my dream. Yeehaw, there y'all are. And for the middle, the bar element? Same again. Four planks, four nails. Bang, bang. Put it all together and you're good and ready. Well, I need a drink. <laughs> Here's to the new era of woodcraft. Till next time. Nice. Woodcraft. I think the chopper's coming back. It sounds far away, though. If it gets close to us, we're going to have a lot of zombies potentially converging on our point. But what can we do, right? We need a roof. We need to get onto a... I think the safest spot is probably a roof, right? The next Woodcraft show will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Oh, right. Okay. Got to clean my clothes? I could probably do with cleaning my clothes, actually, yeah. I'm giving my clothes a good clean. I think I can hear someone. Hello, is somebody out here? too scared to leave my house in case the helicopter sees me and then follows me around. That's not what I'm about. Okay, it seems to be gone now. Maybe it's safe to uh, go back over to... That. No, the fog is gone. Okay, maybe now is a good time to go and have a look and see if uh, the helicopter brought a lot of zombies to us. Or close to us. I'm hoping no. There wasn't really anything in that first house, right? So we want to go to the next one along? Oh, this one's nice. This one's got fence all around it. We got a fire pit too. Hello? Looks pretty clear. God, I'm really humping this window hard. Come on, baby. I broke it. I over humped it. Oh.
with a fork, spatula, a an empty kettle, some tomato paste, a bunch of canned food, still no can opener, flour, the cooking pot with water, Yep. Ah, oh, he's in there. Okay. Oh, there's a violin. Can you actually learn how to play the violin? It's a comic book. Ooh. It's a bat. Should we uh, prepare to receive our, our guest? How long does it take him to knock down a door? Welcome him in. Welcome to the World Series. Jesus. Is ready for the jump. A bunch of tights in there. Ah. Let's grab the CD. You never know. We might find a CD player at some point. I'll have a quick drink. Nothing here. Nothing really in there. There's a box of tissues. I think in terms of food, I mean, we could just eat stuff that we find, right? Pickles? I'll just eat these carrots, too. I'm feeling pretty good, food-wise. Man, this house is great. I'm not attached to any house per se. I'm fine, like, just kind of living house to house right now as we're trying to find essential items, right? What else is over here? It doesn't... There's just, like, two random houses out here. There's something over here. Some turkeys, I think. Well, these like there's this like normal road, and then there's these dirt roads. That, there's gotta be some buildings or something over here. There's another path here. I guess this is just all like uh, very rural area. It's like a good place to set up a base, like a container. The the storage um, units were fun that one time when we when we were out there. Got the sledgehammer and we were able to like bash through them all and get a lot of good stuff. I think our best run was uh, that little shack outside of the big farmhouse, right? Similar to the farmhouse we were at before, but it's a different one. We're heading towards uh, Louisville right now. <laughs> well, I mean, not really. <laughs> it's still so, so far away. I don't think there's anything um, 
that we're kind of like missing right now. Like we've got, we're carrying probably too too many tools. The saw and stuff we don't need to really carry around. Just leave that at the base until we're ready to do some carpentry. I'm still roughly following this road. It's got to lead somewhere. I don't know where, but. This must lead up to a farmhouse, right? Eventually. Follow the road. Follow the road one time for days. Hey, look at this. Hello, nurse. can't get in here. I think it's it's too smashed up. Oh, it's fucked. All right. Do you think it's ever worth uh smashing the windows and checking the glove box or anything? I think it makes too much noise though, right? Which you kind of want to avoid. It's kind of nice just exploring a little bit too, right? It's good. There might be a Bruce Springsteen cassette in there. God, I wish. Oh, okay, here we go. Mailbox. That's a good sign. Pretty isolated out here, too. Shouldn't be too many um, big bad guys. I hear a dog. Either a dog or a, a bush turkey, I'm not sure. This one looks like it's under construction, or they were having some work done to it, potentially. Let's have a quick peek inside. I think she's dead. She's got a black digital watch. She's got some black frilly underpants, an empty bottle. Nice. Okay, let's just make sure that life and living is on just in case. Gosh, there are lots of canned goods in here. There's a griddle pan though. Nice, nothing in the fridge. There's shrimp and meat patty in the freezer. Hello? Aha! Let's watch TV with my new friend. No, I don't think you can open cans with a screwdriver. I think it's a mod. Me and this, me and this lady are having a TV party tonight. Foraging has gone up. And we actually got foraging skills from that. Two. Shit. That's good. TV party tonight, do, 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 TV party tonight, do, 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 do. we're gonna have a TV party tonight, all right, comic book, don't need it, 
Oh. All right. Well, we could sleep here tonight if we need to. It is quite late. Uh, there's just not really any food here. There's a uh, griddle pen, though, so we could uh, we could potentially griddle up some stuff. Anything back out here? It's just construction crap. Ah, there's another little house down here, it looks like. Go check out the neighbor's house. Is it a house or just a little shack? Filled with farming implements? Oh, it looks like it could be a shed. Yeah, it is. It's like a barn or something. Oh. What an odd place. There's nothing in here. There's just a bench. It looks like what like one of those little huts that is next to like a like a an outdoor ice rink, you know? There's just like nothing in it. All right. So this is where we got all the gardening stuff. So it's mostly just fields around here. I don't think there's any buildings. We could go back towards the road and take a look. Getting tired though, maybe sleep in that house. Should be safe. Just close the window. Maybe it's a bit too early to go to bed. Um, see if there's anything else on TV. Ah, uh, we should probably eat something, right? Let's get this thing, this stuff, this meat patty out. And um, maybe use the griddle pan. I don't think I can use the griddle pan. Where are the meat? Eat, drop, put in container. Okay, the griddle pan doesn't seem to work with meat. Let's just put the meat in the oven. And then turn this bitch on. We gotta defrost it first. I wanted to, to do this meat patty on the griddle pan, but... It's gonna burn. Finish eating. Yeah, good. Alright, good. going to bed on a full stomach stayed up all those burgers we're gonna wake up at 3 20 in the morning great time to wake up um this meat patty is still fresh might as well eat it <laughs> we just uh we had one before we went to bed. Went to bed for like four hours. Wake up. Another meat patty, baby. Yeah, nice. That's good. Okay, let me put these nails in the satchel. The lighter can go in the satchel. This flashlight can go in the satchel. All these ripped sheets. That reminds me, I gotta change my dressings. Okay, good. Let's clean these rags. Oh, 
All right. Onwards and upwards, as they say. No, in fact, it's not great. We might get like some uh, fever or something from it, but it's not like a, it's not a zombie infection. It's um, it's a uh, we can only be infected by bites, basically. It's just like uh, you know, we need some antibiotics, but just haven't found any yet. If only I could turn into a thriller zombie. Oh, if only. There should be uh there should be like a crossroads coming up here, I think. Probably. Cause usually usually the country is like done in a in kind of a grid, right? You can boil rags to make sterile bandages? Oh, I might do that then. You think that that could be better for my infections? Both on my hand and on my torso? Am I meeting someone at the crossroads? Yeah, all my... I, I, I made a... I made some plans to meet all my thugs at the... Um, at the crossroads. Hopefully they'll be there. Then we can really get the party started. <laughs> For the groin infection, you'll need something else. Oh, I know. As much as I like putting boiled boiled rags on my groin, I have to figure out something. Hey, look at it. Maybe we could just pick up a contract, pick up some bales. done all this bailing hasn't even picked up the bales might be able to pick up a little contract um what's this place it's not a building it's just a big dirt road but it looks uh like big farm fields maybe it's just all like wild grass out here Ran out of uh, hamburger juice. This must be fields and uh, field separators, right? It, it, it just seems too um, too lined up nicely, I guess. I don't know. If you look at the map. Something coming up. Like a field separator crossroads. So I don't know, maybe there's a big farmhouse around here somewhere? There's probably some sheds and stuff too. We're really just out here in uh, in the farmlands. Which uh, honestly is what's kept us alive. If we were close to if we stayed close to town we'd be dead by now for sure. I planted those potatoes back at reasonably safe, but reasonably safe is so far away now. We've come such a long way. Nah, we haven't really traveled that far, really. I, I don't know what this is. It's got to be a farm, right? Oh. The whole farming family is here. There's quite a few guys here. Well, there's quite a few guys here too. Three, three guys I could probably take if it doesn't aggro the other pack. The baseball bat is a little bit better. 
I think there's just these three guys. Okay, one of them is coming. Okay. Okay, there's a butter knife here. No, there's nothing on these guys. A bat's quite nice, isn't it? I don't know why there's so many of them here. One guy has seen me. Two. Okay, let me back off a bit and try to peel these guys off. I need some water pretty soon. on these guys emerald earrings can wear some gloves long gloves oh there's a couple of them coming my way oh I see concrete so there might be a building or something over there Classic wristwatch and a belly button ring. All right, let's see what's over here. We'll sneak over. Just going to have a smoke quick. All right, there's some road here. It's like a gravel road. There's got to be a building around here somewhere. Can't tell yet. There's so many zombies around here. We must be getting close to some buildings. I need a drink of water soon. I don't have like a um, a flask or anything. This is post uh, Zoo Eddie Monroe. This is because there's there's no way he's built a nice zoo and the world is repopulated after a zombie apocalypse, right? So this is the last chapter of the Monroe saga. nothing. I didn't even know how those guys saw me. I'm just out here alone in a field. I think the... Does the road end abruptly down here, or is it just I haven't explored that bit yet?
Where is our um, watch? Oh, it's here. Current time, 8 o'clock. In the morning. In the morning. Anything? What the heck is this area that I'm in right now? So after the zoo, but before the space trucking empire? I don't know how that works, actually. I think at the end of this, somehow we go into some uh, cryo chamber. Because there's some RimWorld stuff for Eddie Monroe as well, right? So maybe he gets... Maybe we could tie RimWorld in with this game. Surviving an apocalypse. Get, getting yourself into a freezing chamber. Launching yourself into outer space. And then after humanity has rebuilt itself over the course of thousands of years, they could thaw him out and then he could start being a space trucker. Sounds plausible. Can't wait for Space Trucker to be a full release. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to that, actually. I'll play it. The demo's solid. I wonder how much work they have left to do to release it. All right, so we're heading back to one of these houses where we'll have a little rest, drink, see if we can catch something on the TV. We've killed a lot of foes on this day. We've done some exploring, but hasn't really given us anything. I think if we cut straight across here, we might find some more small houses check we haven't explored this area up here it's just a lot of open fields so we're heading um, further up this is where we got the gardening stuff from, right? The big shed that's just uh, kind of to the south of us. But we didn't carry on past that because we took that stuff back to reasonably safe, which we're reasonably close to now as well. We could go back to what is kind of like our main base, but I still don't have a can opener. But at least we got all those fresh potatoes and a couple of fresh peaches left. Just work on our sprinting skill. We're very sweaty right now. Alright, where are we in relation to reasonably safe? We gotta go over this way a bit and then down. Maybe not through the forest. We can have a nice, delicious drink when we get back. Oh shit. I didn't realize that there was a little pack of them so close. Cut through the woods. So reasonably safe is not so reasonably safe because there's quite a big pack of them there. Where are we now? Ah, okay. 
I like how the music like starts and stops when you open the map. It's kind of spooky. Oh! Am I just in time for some cooking? Yeah, a few twists of pepper, nice. Bam! Chicken and noodle soup! Guaranteed to lighten a rainy day. See y'all tomorrow! Oh, we just missed, we missed most of it, unfortunately. Sad. Um, we've got some peas, mixed vegetables, and packaged corn in here. If we wanted to, uh, eat some of that at some point. I think we can, we can carry on working through our fresh peaches and stuff for now. Alright, chat. We're gonna swap over to Helldivers. Um, I'm gonna go and, uh, go to the bathroom very quickly before we start. YouTube, I'm gonna stop the stream so that this is, uh, uh, just a zomboid video and then uh, I'll start the stream up again in about five minutes and then that'll just be a Helldivers video uh, for for your pleasure for your ease Twitch you will stay on the whole time okay um, thanks so much for watching uh, zomboid uh, we'll do some more for sure it's been uh, it's been good how do I quit this game uh, and save at the same time is there a way Does anybody know? It just saves when you quit? All right. How do I quit though? Where is the back to main 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 click on Mac? Mac. <gasps> oh, okay. Good. So I just quit. I hope I didn't just lose all of that incredible progression. We just lost everything. The 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 our dream, our our dream rural run, is over. Continue. Okay, good. All right. Um, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.